Welcome back. This is Plus Politics. In case you just tuned in, we are looking at our second topic of the day. Several members from both the All Progressive Congress and People's Democratic Party in Lagos State have reportedly indicated interest in contesting for the by-election to fill the Lagos East Senatorial District at the Senate, which was previously occupied by Bayo Oshino, popularly known as Peperito, who died on June 15, 2020. Among some of the candidates or aspirants are uh, former governor of Lagos State, Akim Miambodi, a uh, former occupant of the position, Senator Gbenga Ashafa, a former governorship candidate of Action Democratic Party, who is now in PDP, Babatunde Badamosi, and some more. Joining us to discuss this is Lanri Waju Oguntoimbo, who is a member of APC and Taufik Ghani. Let me start with both. Okay, let me have your, your response. Uh, uh, do we have two of you online now? Yeah, I'm here. Let me go to music. Okay. Good evening. This is the voice of Taufik Ghani, Labour State Public Republic Secretary. Okay, let me start with um, uh, Taufik Ghani. Uh, each time people talk about uh, elective position in legal state, they seem to look away that, because uh, I had this conversation that, oh, it depends on who APC, who emerges from APC, and tend to overlook the fact that PDP is in this race. So what exactly is your party bringing forth in terms of who takes over this position? It is not true that people always think that uh, it is only the APC that will win elections. It is rather the stance that whatever that must be done to ensure that there is free, fair, credible election, especially in Lagos State, must be done. Okay. Uh, and. Uh... Uh, look, 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 looking at it, uh, let's, uh, I understand there's a bit of network issue. Probably we might just have a conversation with you first, then we'll go back to the APC member. Let's look at the issues on the table. So uh, how strategic is that uh, senatorial district for your party? The Lagos senatorial district is one of the three senatorial districts constitutionally created, I mean, for the states. Um, it has five uh, local government areas on that. Uh, it is strategic to us because this is one area that you have a lot of interest uh, in, the, in, the, in the definition of people who want true development in Lagos State that they have been so deprived. You go to a bed, nothing to show except for the recent uh, attempt by the immediate past governor who was also put down for attempting to develop that area. You go to Ibejileki, it's completely zero. Go to Ikorodu, the whole of Ikorodu, you have maybe less than 10% that can boast of. And that, that area where you have the federal government uh, presence since the time of the, the PDP uh, rule. And these are facts. Every day you go on traffic radio, even the Lagos State Radio, you see people condemning the state government, uh, especially those living in the Ikorodu Aziz. So, so, so the only area that you probably can say that there's a semblance of, of improvement, of development, is when you move out, move towards Koshofe, Shomolu. And I tell you, as we are here now, we are comfortable, we are living in peace, but even in Kushofe, especially those in the eyes of the My 12 and the environs, they are not living with their two eyes closed because there's already, they, and they believe that these are government sponsored insurrection and uh, gangsterism and the rest. The, 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 the Aousa community, the Yoruba community, the Igbo community, they are not able to live together because of the influence of the politicians in that area trying to. To, to, to show who, who, is, who is the strong, strongest among themselves. So these are the things that we will tap on. These are the areas that will eventually turn out to be reasons for people to vote the PDP in. Because imagine, we can do with the, of the late senator, uh, uh, but, but, but imagine who he, he was in serious political imbroglio with the Speaker of the State House of Assembly. This is 
please add the media space. I think the Lego case should have evolved beyond that. We have, because of politics of authoritarianism, qualities of the Osnomi with uh, one leader, we have, because of that, deprived the negotiations of good governance, of progressive governance. The only time you see the APC come serious is when it is close to election and when they want to campaign. After that, it is you depriving the people of what organizing should be uh, uh, dividends of democracy. Okay. We are saying it, and we are proud to say it today. Danny? That... Uh, sorry for, 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 for interjecting. I, I just want to get something clear. You know, we don't have the benefit of the APC guy trying to respond to some of the comments you've made. So do me, just allow me make some clarification over some of the words you've used. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong. Are we saying that uh, the road that leads to Ikorodu, I'm talking about the inner, I mean, to the end of Ikorodu, wasn't the job of APC government? Are we saying that the Ekpe you cited, some kudos should not be given to APC? Or is there something I don't know that you know? What we need to do is to do a meditation journalism. And I think the, the best form is to gather the indigenous of these areas. It's probably able to go to the palace of their kings. If you go to the palace of the Ereko of Aleppo, we will presumably support the government. They will tell you there that they have been so developed on that on the recent time. And this is what he said, that even the man who was doing, uh, appearing to develop a pair for the first time was booted out because rather than, according to them, give the chieftains of the APC their dues, he was busy developing a pair. Now, that's one case. But that case is, is Kurudu. I think to you, the whole of Kurudu, you will have less than 10, less than, less than 10 percent. Area is developed, and that is where we have the federal government presence. Go to Ikorodro, Gijo, everybody on traffic radio, the state radio. That's how you can monitor development, especially as it relates to mobility, people going out no. and out. Of course, there is one of the presence of the states. Now, the only thing to do is to just go and talk and talk and talk. You see, a lot of things that we say, we are not saying it just on partisan level. We are saying the truth. See, if the APC comes up now to want to defend, they will tell you that they, they are just doing the work that they done in CCS. Was DP in government in Lagos State in, in, in 99, in 2003, okay. 2007, in 2011? It's always been this person involved from okay. to Danny, to Danny, to I'm really pressed for time. So, I, I'll so just. There's no, reason, there's no reason for anybody to want to justify. Yeah, incompetent. Okay. By by saying that. Danny, what, what that's I why do. you are the spokesman. <laughs> that's why you are the it's spokesman. Serious. You have a lot to tell us. But please, because of time, I will have to round off with you now in the next 30 seconds to have your take on how strategic are you planning to come up with a strong candidate that can vie for that position. Please, you have 30 seconds in terms of have you had interest? Is it just one person like we is have, reported? We, we are going to give we are going the best candidate from the PDP that they can never reject. And the APC is already jitting. And we are not going to be surprised that they can even swear our food by those who are aggrieved. A lot of them are already aggrieved in the APC. And they are interested in that office, but we are told that the national leader has somebody he wants to impose on them. So our doors are open. They can also join us in our, in our family. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Gani Taufik, the Publicity Secretary of Lagos PDP. Thank you for your time. We'll take a short break and we will quickly get the take of the APC member who will join us via phone. Thank you for your time. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back. It's still Plus Politics. Uh, once again, we have um, Lanre Oguntoimbo, who we could not connect because of, uh, obviously, the network problem. But let's talk to you via phone. Lanre, sorry about the network issue. Can we quickly have your response to some of the things 
the PDP official did say, probably in case you were not able to listen to him. One of the things he has said is that APC already has internal issue there, that before we have uh, the demise of the senator, it was already at the loggerhead with the speaker. So do you think your party is ready to take over? My party, the All Progressive People's Congress, is ready any day, any time. This is the biggest political party in Lagos and the fastest growing political party in Africa. And also, this is the home of the national leader of APC, the most strategic and the most informed politician in Africa, Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinobu. That somebody from another party will tell our party that we are not ready to conduct an election is rather funny. And um, I think the readiness that we are, we are, we have, will be known on the day of the election. Um, while the, Mr. Tafi Ghani was speaking, he said there were some sponsor, uh, government sponsored grand starism in Lagos East Senatorial District. I think that is a mere imagination from his own political angle. Um, APC is a violent party. We know we are a peace-loving party. This has been witnessed by Nigerians. The imbroglu and the insecurity system brought up by the PDP administration in the last 15 years before APC came into power has been able to be dealt with decisively by the APC-led government. So if Mr. Ghani is saying APC is sponsoring gangsterism in the East, is, is rather laughable. Okay. Uh, because of time, I'm so sorry. I, I mean, we have to bring up this discussion sometimes very uh, later in the future. But let me quickly have your final take on this. How do you... Uh, we understand that uh, someone like Senator Ashafa may be coming back. We understand that um, even the former governor of Lagos State is also being considered. Do you think these are just mere paperwork or these are valid issues? As a member of the party who is privy to any of this information? As of today, the political party of Progressive People's Congress, um, sorry, the APC, has not decided who we will be using as a candidate for Lagos East Central District. Um, that some people are saying former Governor Akiman Body has been endorsed is not true. That some people are saying um, Senator Barry Rashafa is coming back is not true. As it is now, the party has not released any guideline for who is going to succeed the late Honorable Bayo Oshinowo. When the party do, they will go through the legal means of obtaining the form, screening, and primary elections. And whoever wins the primary election will be declared as the candidate who will then go on to win the election. Thank you so That's much. Thank you so much, Larry Oguntoyimbo. You, you would have actually had more time to talk. But no thanks yeah. to the network. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Let's quickly go on a short break. When we come back, I'll be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. The remains of the Waterbrook Church. Property worth millions of Naira. Now in ruins. Well, still a few persons here trying to contain what is left of um, the Brook Church after the fire disaster that hit the church um, this afternoon. I was told that it was actually started off actually at 1 p.m. And even though members of the church would not speak to me, um, men of the Lagos State Fire Service have, however, been able to contain uh, what is left of the fire from Lagos, Nigeria. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. And before I give you my take, that was just a report of the fire incident that happened some hours ago on Victoria Island. And here is my take. Why many of the interested prospective aspirants continue to deny ambition, talking about the 2023, saying it is too early Political pundits refuse to be convinced that work hasn't begun. It has become a trend, especially when the incumbent is serving his second term in office. 
COVID-19 pandemic is a very good excuse for these aspirants to be busy with the business of governance. When they finally come out to declare their intention, they should bear in mind that they would need to restore the trust of the people. Sad enough, the statistics of voters across the country is a testament to culture of voter apathy by larger population. What is governance if the people don't participate? It may as well pass as oligarchy where few people determine the fate of many. I advise that whoever wants to take the reign of office should first and foremost serve the people in whatever capacity. Stay away from the cookie jar, live a corrupt free life, and most importantly, serve the people with no ulterior motive. As always, thank you for your kind attention while the program lasted. Until next time, be well and have a great weekend. I am Kaudi Ladendi saying bye.